Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my newest series, which I'm calling Quote of the Day. This is where you can find a new interesting quote in each video, and you're also gonna get my own personal thoughts on each subject. So I'm gonna start with one that has special significance to me, and that is Albert Schweitzer's Sometimes our light goes out, but is blown again into flame by an encounter with another human being. Each of us owes the deepest thanks to those who have rekindled this inner light. So the reason why this quote is so meaningful to me is I find that we all experience different periods in life when our light, our passion for life gets diminished or even blown out. And I was kind of experiencing one of these moments when I was 13 years old. I didn't really know what I wanted. I didn't really know what I was going after much like most 13 year olds, don't get me wrong, but there was one evening when a bunch of friends and I would get dropped off at the gym. And we would do this pretty frequently, our parents would drive us because it was really far away, and we'd play badminton, we loved playing badminton, and we'd play for hours. And it was after one of these sessions that we went outside, we were waiting for one of our moms to pick us up, and I forget what happened specifically, but they were going to be a little late, maybe an hour late or so. Uh, they weren't there at the time, and we had to wait around for them to show up. And me and a buddy, I think jokingly at first, were kind of like, yeah, we'll run home. And what's important to understand is I don't really know how far it was. Maybe it was 10, 12, 15 kilometers but at the time, I don't know how much I ran, but it's probably like three kilometers was the first I ever ran. And the idea of running home from this place, which, you know, I was pretty young. Like, I don't even know if I knew, like, where I was. <laughs> um, it seemed, like, impossible. Um, it seemed just completely ridiculous. And maybe that's part of the reason why I liked the idea. But somewhere along the line, the joke turned into reality. And me and my friends started running home. And I was never kind of the best endurance runner. And obviously we just played badminton for hours and it's physically exhausted. But eventually, probably not far into the run, I got extremely tired, exhausted, starting to slow down, probably wanted to stop. And when this happened, my buddy just kind of saw me slowing down and he came behind me and started pushing me. Started kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me and start, until I started running again. And then I start running, I keep going, keep going, and eventually, you know, I die again. Same thing, he'd come back, push me, push me, and we keep going. And this went on and on for most of the run. He'd push me and drag me and pull me. And there's a lot of different things that happened, but... It kind of, A, made me realize that I'm capable of way more than I thought. Always an important thing to remember. Uh, you know, having someone push you past your perceived limits is incredibly important. Uh, but the other part, you know, other than the physical anguish, <laughs> was that we started talking. And we were both kind of contemplating on our lives. And it's kind of funny to think about this because we were only 13 year, olds at the 13 year old at the time. But we were talking about how we both kind of had these big ambitions when we were younger. And we'd kind of not necessarily given up on them, but I remember at the time feeling like it was too late. Like I was too old, I was past my prime. Like I knew if you really wanted to get good at something, all the best people in the world started when they were like toddlers and they did it their whole lives. And I want to be the fastest man in the world. I think that was the thing that I wanted when I was younger. I remember him being a little kid and just going up to people and just being like, hey, want to race? <laughs> and I would just like race people all the time. Sprinting was my thing, endurance was not. And for him, he wanted to be a professional hockey player. And we had both I don't know, I think in this run we both kind of gained a lot of passion, a lot of momentum for these goals. And it was after this that I became very interested in self-development. We both started setting goals. 
we would go to the gym in the morning before school and we kind of just help each other stay on track you know whether that was eating a shitty food we kind of you know shoot each other a little look like you don't need to put that in you um another thing we talked about was how we both never wanted to be those guys that we saw wearing these suits going to some office job having some regular life uh, it's really when I think I became ambitious because I wanted to create an extraordinary life. I didn't want to have some mundane job, some mundane life. And relating this to the quote, I'm sure you can see the symbology, but he really helped me kind of ignite my passion for life again. And it's something that we still talk about to this day we call it the run and it's because I feel like it really impacted me not only just positively in that moment in life but it impacted me because I want to do the same for other people for other people whose light might have gone out I wanted to help them rekindle their flame since someone else did it for me